Hello, this is Russell with Community Financials, uh, and today we are going to do a demo of ComWeb's uh, website that can kind of interact with uh, the either TOPS1 or Caliber software for Community Financials clients. And this would be an upgrade for those communities that want a website versus just our uh, portals that we provide through ComWeb that are, you know, the advanced portal has a lot of functionality, but there might be some, some instances where the community wants to have a website. So today we're joined by Zach Myers, who is with ComWeb, and he's going to give us a tour of what the residents would see and then also what functionality the board would have. And we'll talk a little bit about the differences of uh, ComWeb portals versus the website. So thanks, Zach, for taking some time today to uh, go over with us uh, and share share some info with our uh, clients. Yeah, thank you, Russell. Um, so yeah, let me just go ahead and jump right in. So as soon as you get to the um, website, whatever you want the domain name to be, you'll be able to pick that, especially if you own the domain name already. This will take you to the public landing page where you can uh, show whatever you want to the public. You can actually change these pages. Um, if you would like as well. If you need to do amenities reservations, that's one thing that is different between the advanced portals and the uh, in the ComWeb's website. Um, another thing is the owner forms. Owner forms, you can go ahead and um, the e-forms get brought up right in the in the website. It's not that's not in the advanced portals yet. Um, another thing is message boards, if that's something that you wanted to turn on for your association as well. And any of the features that you can turn on or turn off. And let me go ahead and just kind of jump in and show you what it looks like. Great. So when, when you log in, whether you're a board member or just a standard resident, it will take you to this landing page first. Um, it'll be just kind of a, a home announcement page where you can have your profile on the side. It will show any of the announcements that have um, come from the manager or the board members. It will give you a list of all the upcoming events. And if you click on them, it will take you to the calendar of them. Um, also a local news feed, and you can pick whatever kind of um, whatever kind of information you want to put in there. If you want to put like the onion or, or like the local weather channel or kind of whatever um, pages you want to put in there, as well as the local weather for your area as well. This is just kind of the main landing page for when you log in. Um, so in my account, you can go in and you can pay um, your dues online. It will show you a account history of everything, um, regardless if you're on Caliber or, or uh, Tops One. When you log in, you'll be able to go to my resident area. And this is what will show um, for residents. If you are a board member, you will have access to the board area. And if you're not, um, that icon will not even be there. It'll just have access to everything else. And Zach, if if say a community didn't need it, didn't want to use compliance or uh, they could yeah. So say that. say you if had an HOA have for reservations, they could remove that as well. Yep, you could remove anything on here. You could also turn like I said, turn anything on and off. So if you have an HOA and um, they don't really do any maintenance, you can you don't have to show maintenance for the association, or maybe you you don't do as many compliance. You don't have to do. You don't have to show the compliance. Also, one thing that is going to be different between Tops and Caliber. Caliber will have the ability to do architectural requests, and that will show up um, in this area right here. Great. Um, so when you log in, you can update your contact um, mailing address, uh, phone number, and then this actually is you have to be given permission. So if the board is okay with that, or if the manager is okay with that, you can update your contact information. This part, this one doesn't have actually the, doesn't have the permission just because it's the demo page, um, but you can go in and do your email address, uh, update your contact information completely right through here. And it will talk in real time with, with your accounting system as well. Um, link additional units. So if you have a a uh, homeowner that has more than one unit at the association, you don't have to have more than one login. I know with the advanced portals, you don't have to do that as well, but you can also do that with the ComWeb. So if you have one um, one resident who has three or four units at the association, you can link them all to this one email address and you'll be able to view all of the all of the accounts for, for that uh, homeowner. Manage payment methods. So you can go in and manage your payment methods. So, um, if you wanted to link your bank or your credit card, you can go in and do it there. If you wanted to enroll in auto pay, you could do that as well. 
subscriptions. So another thing that is different between the ComWeb's website and the ComWeb's advanced portals is you can actually do email blasts through the website. You don't have to do it through your TOPS or Caliber system. You can do it right through here. And then this is how you can manage those subscriptions. Also, if you wanted to subscribe to the message board, you could do that in this area as well. Resident directory. This is another thing that a lot of people um, turn on or turn off. Some people think it's great to have a resident directory. Some people might not want it, but this is again, one thing you can turn on and turn off if they have their phone number, email address, um, all the street address and information. And the homeowners will be able to show or pick what they want to show. So if they don't want to show their phone number, they don't have to. If they don't want to show their email, they don't have to. Um, board area, I'll get back to that in just a second. Any of your open reservations that you have um, from the main screen when it said amenity reservations, if you had a reservation that you currently had open, it will show what it is, the resource status of it. If there is a deposit or a cost to do it, it will do that as well. So this is again, if somebody needed to reserve either the tennis courts or- Tennis court, uh, 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 workout facility, pool, clubhouse. Yeah, community room. You can go in and reserve it through here. If there is a, a deposit, you can do that as well. Um, but you can do everything right through the portal and then the board will have to uh, accept the accept the reservation before it actually shows up here for you. So how does the, just one question, Zach, how does mm -hmm. the, how does the deposit work? Is it just, we kind of pro the board can program that into here where it would be a, say it's a $20 deposit. Yep. And yep. So I'll show you that as soon as I get done with the board section, I'll go into a couple of the administration side or administration things where you can see exactly how to do the reservation and I'll show you how to do like an email blast as well. Okay. Um, any of your personal open compliance. So even if you're um, a board member, this is going to be just your personal open compliance. It's not going to be across the across the entire association. So if you didn't, I don't know, like you left your trash cans out too long, it will show up here. We'll show you the status of it, give you a, a, a description of it, the issue or the due date and a description of the issue. Maintenance, it's gonna be exactly the same. So if you have any personal open maintenance, if maybe the pipe's a little leaky, if somebody needs to get a tree out of your yard, whatever the situation is, and you can actually submit requests through here as well, so. And Zach, the maintenance and mm -hmm. compliance will uh, flow back into either TOPS or Caliber. Or Caliber, correct. And it talks in real time, for, and then it has the, to be. Uh, for, you know, the, if the board is self-managing, we give them access to that and they'd be able to look in there to, to correct. manage that item. Yep, that's exactly correct. Okay. And you can go in, do the location of it, type of it, category of it, whatever it is, little uh, description and then location of the issue. And like I said, when, you when it sends the request in, it will have to be accepted by the board and... Mm -hmm. This then is it will similar, show up here for you. This is similar to also the, the advanced portal has the ability to do that. Yep. And the, yep, yep. It's very similar to the advanced portal. Okay. Um, documents and reports. So this will show any documents that have been uploaded by the board or the manager. Go in. It's very easy. You can just click on it and it starts downloading. Super user friendly. And they'll bring it right up for you. And as you can see, that you can make different folders. You can have subfolders and kind of whatever you really, whatever you really want to make. So, I mean, board minutes, financials, what, whatever you want, governing docs. It'll show all right here. Right, and those you can have different access permissions. I see there for different people. So if it was board only, only the board would be able to see that. Correct. Exactly. Board only. Um, you you can actually. With this, it's a lot more customizable than um, the portals because you can actually have employee roles and give them access to certain things as well. So if you had a maintenance guy, you could only give him access to all the maintenance for the association or stuff like that. Okay. Um, so that's really everything from a resident side. Um, like I said, if you do, if you are on Calibre, you will have architectural requests and it'll work the same as maintenance where you can submit it. Um, with the information and it will go uh, to be accepted through the board. Great.
let's go into the board area. If you are a board member, this is the area you will have access to. Um, and it will show your, your board contact information. It's gonna be the exact same information as your, as your homeowner information. Um, it'll just come up in your board contact profile. The resident directory, it's gonna be exactly the same as um, the homeowners, except it will tell you if it's an owner or an occupant, and it'll give you a little bit more information about it. And the board will be able to see, you know, kind of everybody's information, yeah, whether they opt exactly. in or not. Just correct, like, correct. Just like the advanced portal. Exactly. Whether they opt in or not, the board will still be able to see the telephone numbers and email. You can see how you can, it's populated here, but it wasn't in the homeowner side. Great. Uh, manage the board members. So you can go in and add new group members, you can manage their positions, manage the group assignments all through the portal as well. Manage groups. So if you, yeah, committees, if you had new committees, architectural committee, um, up, some people have technology committees, whatever the group or committee you would have um, would show here and you can actually make new ones as well. Um, so when you go into compliance, this is not going to be just your personal open compliance anymore because we are in the board area. So this is going to be everyone who has open compliance items. You can go in and give you the details of them. We'll give you um, just if there is any, yeah, any action required, it'll give you a description of it. And this all pulls in real time from your tops in your caliber system. So you're not going to have to do any double data entry. You're not going to have to do any multiple databases. It'll just all talk in real time with each other. Uh, maintenance. Again, this is going to be across the association. It's not going to be just your personal maintenance anymore because we are on the board side. So Elizabeth Jackson, Amy Adams, they have open requests, open status. And we'll give you, again, what the problem is, the target date. And if you click on it, you can be able to view all the details that are in that specific request. Right. Now you can't you can't really manage them and close them out from here. This is just kind of a top level view so you can see where they are at. Correct. Yeah, to you manage, don't actually manage again, them to, from here. To manage them, like I said before, that would be going into the either tops or caliber software. And kind correct. Of, That's exactly correct. This is just know, kind that of would change, a, that would change the statuses within there. Mm -hmm. Exactly correct. Right. And like I said, this is very similar to the portal. There's just a few extra things and it's specialized for like one specific community where the portals could be for multiple communities. Um, we'll go into delinquency. This will show uh, just like the advanced portals, the um, delinquent accounts, the balance. If you have decided to put a stage, so like first, first notice, second notice, it will show the stage and go in and click and view all the details as well. This person, yeah, a lot of late fees, $12,000 worth. I hope nobody actually gets that high. <laughs> I hope not either. Yeah. Um, going to AP invoices. So from well, a board we can, member. You... We can skip over that because we give okay. the uh, access to strong room to boards so that they can view all the invoices there. Okay, cool. Then, yeah, um, that'll be something you could probably turn off for the association then. Go into reservations. This will just show all of the reservations that need approval. I don't believe there is any because it is the demo, but any of them that um, have been reserved through the homeowner side, um, like you saw earlier, or from the main page, will show up right here. And these can be, uh, are these able to be kind of, you know, uh, actioned from here, or is, is that also you have to go into the software to? Um, well, the reservations could be from here. Okay. So the reservations can be managed in this area, yes. Okay, great. Yep, so this, there is no current ones, but it'll also show past reservations if anybody had them. Um, let me go back to the resident home and then, uh, oops, board area. And like I said, um, if, you do, if you do have caliber, it will have the architectural requests as well in this area. And it's gonna work the same as maintenance where it will show all the open ones for the entire association and uh, not just your personal architectural requests. Great, and the board can upload documents as well. Yep, the board can upload documents. If they wanted to. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you that in just a second. Th this board documents and reports is gonna be the same as the homeowner side. Um, 
but I'm going to take you in just a second to the administration real quick and show you how to, how to upload the documents. Great. Let me go to site admin. Let's spend about you know three minutes or so here in administration and some common questions, and then we'll wrap it up with just you know what how a uh, board, if they're self managed or have an on site manager, would either administer this or what services you you all provide to help the association. Yeah, yeah, great. Um, so we'll go just quickly into the managed communications. You can actually send new new emails through here. This is one of the things I said that was different that is not in the in the advanced portal where you can go in and create new emails and send them out to your distribution list. So if you're uh, at a condo and you have building A, B, C, and D, you can make distribution lists for A, B, C, and D. So if somebody in building B has to know something, you can send it out to just building B. And you can add attachments there? Add attachments, yep. You can add attachments, you can add links. Um, you, can add, you can make new templates for, for communications. Um, you can really customize it pretty well. Um, let me go into the calendar. So this is where I was saying about the reservations where you can go in and make new reservations, configure them, where if you wanted it to be available only a certain amount of days, you could have people only be able to do it a certain amount of times a week if you didn't want them um, kind of abusing the system you can really go in and kind of manage um, everything about it certain days a week, maximum days needed, person to notify. Mm -hmm. Great. And go and do all that right here. And if there is a payment, you can set that up as well. How would the payment get processed? Um, it'll be just like your, it will be whatever, like if you have a, a debit card on your file or a, um, or like a bank account registered, you, when you go in and do the actual reservation, let me take you there real quick. Um, you can just uh, describe it, it's okay. Yeah, so on the main page, when, you, when you're in, on the live site, um, you'll have uh, all your reservations or amenities in the specific pages if you wanted. And you could click on them, it'll say reserve. Uh, if it has a fee, then you could pay it right then. Okay, great. Um, is there anything else in particular you wanted to see from like an administration side right now? No, I think um, that's, uh, you know. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty much it from like the administration side. Um, the so what you were- Communication mm -hmm. reservations were two good ones. Yeah, so, and like what you were saying, if so if you're a self-managed association, um, probably the manager or, or the manager or um, whoever will have access to this and they can go in and actually update the pages if you want. Um, they can go in and create new pages. They can kind of design how the site is looking. If, um, if an association really didn't want to do that, we do offer webmaster services where we can go in and help and also keep the pages updated um, for whenever you guys would want to change them. So if the, if the board wanted to make some changes to the website, they would just contact uh, you guys and you would make the changes to the website for them. Correct, exactly. And, and if you, instead of doing it yourselves, if I know some people don't really know how or want to do it themselves, we do offer the ability to take that um, function for us. Terrific. Well, that's great. Um, well, Zach, this has been really helpful. I think this is, uh, you know, uh, definitely, a, uh, you know, for some of the communities, especially those that have a um, amenities that they want to have, you know, a reservation system, or they want to have a more of a uh, like a front facing or public facing mm -hmm. website. Uh, I think this is a, uh, a handy add on feature for, for our clients and prospects to review. Yep. And Definitely. I, I appreciate your, your time and in, in going over this with us. I appreciate your time, Russell. It, it, it's a, it's always good to talk software with somebody who understands. <laughs> yes. Well, we understand software. We, we understand how to, how to help uh, communities make, uh, make things easier so we yep run a little bit more smoothly i completely understand exactly and technology can be a be a good assistant to that oh yeah all right thanks zach yep thank you russell i really appreciate it